one way we can activate this is if you reach behind your, your body there and just hold on to the treatment table at the back. Now I can, I can bring your leg up like this and I can get behind the, the knee here so we're getting a stretch onto the hamstrings. And we could just get you to a point where you start to feel a stretch. Um, and you know, particularly if this is the, the side of the um, pelvis that's tight, we could go in and we could mobilize the pelvis as well if we want to uh, with a standard uh, sacral yes. joint posterior mobilization. Um, but let's, let's just say we're just working more muscularly initially. I can work till I feel the resistance and I can ask you just to gently push back with your leg against me here, okay? And then relax and then we can move up here. Then I could ask you to pull with your arm against the treatment table like I'm pulling you in this way, direction, you're trying to pull back, okay? And then relax and then we'll just go a little further. So we're engaging this sling from this uh, shoulder right the way around the trunk and right the way around and into mm -hmm. the hamstring here, okay? Then we can do the two together. So you can push back here and pull there at the same time, that's it. And then you take a breath in and out and then we go into the, the stretch further. So that's one way we can actually switch that, uh, yeah. that sling on and stretch it if, if we feel that needs to be done. Have you got a sort of strict protocol about how many seconds you're getting resistance before you go back into stretching? Or do I don't have a particularly this? strict protocol. I generally use about five seconds. Mm. The research that I've seen suggests that you can get very little difference, uh, okay. you know, if you hold it for longer, but it's yeah. statistically not worth holding for more than five seconds. Um, sure. So I normally do that. Um, but what we can also do is we, so that's more the sort of the full uh, sling that wraps right, right the way around the trunk, which I call the deep posterior anterior sling, because it's going from posterior right the way mm -hmm. around to the front. Um, but for the uh, posterior oblique sling, um, which is the one from the, the glute to the opposite lats, what we can do is we can um, bring the leg up into a, a fairly standard posterior mobilization uh, of, the, of the sacroiliac joint. Now you can hold on to the treatment table there, like you, so you can pull it, okay? And what I can do is I can, I can get over here and start to mobilize and, and find the point where we're getting the tissue binding. Let's say you're about here, okay? And then I can ask you to push back with your knee initially as if you're trying to push me away, okay? And then you take a breath in and out, and as you breathe out, you relax there, and I just move up into the mobilization. And I can mobilize a little bit more in that new position. Then we can do the same again, but this time pull with your arm. So pull there, pull, 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 that's it. And then breath in and out. And as you breathe out, I will just move further up that way. So of course, you know, it's the left lat coming into the, through the thoracic lumbar fascia into the right glutes here. Yeah. And then we can do the two together. So you're using left arm pull and push with your knee and breath in and then out. And then we go with the, the flow there and again you can mobilize in that new position so that's just sort of bringing a little bit of the muscular anatomy yeah. into the mobilization mm -hmm. which i think is quite interesting as a concept because you know for me to try and grab your pelvis and pull your pelvis with my hands from the outside is one thing mm -hmm. but for you to actually use the muscles that attach into the pelvis to mobilize it is a is a whole different sort of level of uh i don't know specificity i suppose so yeah. so i think that's quite an interesting it feel effective to you uh, Emma? Technique. Yes, yeah.